Fueled by DeathCast. I mean, how much longer do you think you have in the UFC and MMA and stuff like that? How much longer do you think do you plan to compete for? Until I get that belt. Yeah. Excellent. That, that's what I'm gunning for. Excellent. Well, do you get the belt and then just leave? I mean, that's always a possibility. No. Uh, <laughs> just, just run out the door. <laughs> like, I mean, <laughs> got it. Thank you. And I'm out. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> jokes on you. No, honestly, I, you know, my goal has always been for the belt. Like, once I actually started competing and I thought that, wait a second, I, I can actually do this. That's all I'm looking for is to be able to achieve it. Because once you're number one, you're number one. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you, you lose whatever, but you've reached that point. Yeah. And that's what I'm looking for is to always compete even to get the best in the world, which is why I've stayed in the UFC. I could go to other other fight organizations, but I want to go and test myself against the best. Yeah. You know if you're going against number one and you beat them, then you've been doing yeah. your due diligence and you're number one. As opposed to where I'm like, ah, I could fight in a local show against somebody that has a year of training. Yeah, yeah you should beat them. Absolutely. Yeah. If I don't beat them, then that's pretty embarrassing. Yeah. So I want to be in an organization where I'm challenged every single time I go in there, which means I'm going to keep fighting into the UFC until my body just doesn't let me anymore. <laughs> that's so cool. I can't wait to see what's coming up. Oh, me <laughs> too. And, and and on the, the, the training and the teaching side, you're, you're, there's no end in sight for that. Where do you see no, that? No, where, where do you see that going in the next couple of years? You know, Poway was kind of my little baby and, and branching out and trying to build up my own school because I, I have my business partner and we have the other locations, mm -hmm. but this is just my own little baby that I'm trying to build up. Yeah. And, and my goal is to eventually down the road to just make this a bigger facility and to really start breaching out into the rest of the community and start really doing community outreach and having a connection with the schools. Because I know before when I was at Mission Gorge, one of the things I established is we were doing like low income families, doing little projects for them so that they could still be sponsored to be able to come in and train in the gym for the families that couldn't do it. But the rule was, is like, we're going to mo monitor your grades. We're going to check them with your school, check them with your parents. And I really want to build this back up and also do that with the community here with the military personnel. Because I know for myself, yeah. when I got out, I, I was for over a year looking for a job not only when i was in but when i got out to no to no success wow and that's you know that just makes you like if you're set on i want to get out of the military and i want to follow my dreams and you get out and you're like pop 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 one dream after right. another is going away it, it, it leads to a lot of vets to be depressed and that's when you see them commit suicide or they go back in not because that's what their heart is and what they want to but because the safety net they know is there yeah. and they're like okay well i'm not going to try and really branch out and you see those vets are going back in, they're unhappy, they do the same thing, they end up committing suicide when they're in, or just spending a lifetime and they're unhappy. Right. So I really wanna do some community outreach for the youth that we have, and then also for the vets to show them that you can pursue your dreams, find a home, find a place for you, and the avenue that like we find a lot of vets and we'll be able to connect with them. And if nothing else, I'm like, okay, well you're looking for a job, that's your strength, cool, I know somebody over here. If nothing else, for networking to help them, but really to get them in so they have a focal point and they have a place to be able to vent and to be able to hit things and do some of the similar things they did in the military without any repercussions for their actions. Yeah. And so hopefully that's that's where I'm going down the road is to be able to do more community outreach and integrate that into this. That's